You've downloaded the FitBrits recipe podcast for butternut squash soup. This will take about 30 minutes to prepare and cook. You'll also need the following ingredients. One butternut squash, one small onion, two cloves of garlic, one vegetable or chicken stock cube, and some oil to fry. You can also download a shopping list of the ingredients off the website. Okay, firstly we need to prepare the butternut squash. Chop the squash in half just above the bulge, and then chop the bulge in half again. Spoon out the seeds and then peel this with a vegetable peeler. Now get the other half of the butternut squash, chop the end off and then peel this again. Now chop all of the squash into rough chunks and then set it aside. We now need to prepare the onion. Chop each end off and then cut the onion in half. Peel each half and then chop the onion as shown. Okay, with the garlic, you need to chop each end off of the clove and then crush this with a large bladed knife. Peel the clove and then press this over the onions with a garlic press. If you don't have a garlic press, use a sharp knife to finely chop the garlic instead. You now need to heat a pan with some oil and when it's hot enough, pour in the onion and garlic mixture. Stir this for five minutes in order to soften the onions but not burn the garlic. After 5 minutes, prepare the stock by dissolving either a chicken or vegetable stock cube in 400 mils of boiling water. Now pour the butternut squash into the pan and then pour in the stock. If there's not enough stock to cover the contents, top this up with boiling water so it just about covers the squash. Now stir the contents and then bring the pan to the boil, then allow this to simmer for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, stir the contents again and then remove the pan from the heat. Now for the next part, you can use either a hand blender or regular mixer. Now spoon in about three servings of the butternut into the mixer, ensuring you retain as much of the stock in the pan as possible. Now blend the mixture, and then once it's smooth, pour this into a bowl, which should make a thick pureed consistency. Repeat this until all the mixture is blended. Once you have a bowl of very thick soup, spoon in as much stock as you like to make your desired consistency. Give the soup one final stir and then it's ready to serve. This soup goes really well with chunky bread and goes great in the winter. And be sure to log back onto the website for more recipes, hints and tips.